So after you've got some legendary gear and armor from the early game, lots of you have been asking for some tips and tricks on where to get good stuff in the early mid game area. So here's two early game farming spots where you can find legendary weapons and shields, but also armor sets for the warrior, archer and wizard. And also this epic ring of the flame, which gives you plus 40 seconds in the shroud. Now, if you don't know how to get to the ancient spire Revelwood fast travel point located here on the map, I have a full step by step guide link down below in the description that literally walks you through exactly how to get here. But essentially, you start here at the Cinder Vault, you then go north to unlock the Ancient Spire Springlands, and then you can fly to the Ancient Vault of the Farmer. And from there, you can then go all the way north past the town of Willow Crush, across the level three shroud, through this ruin, past the carpentry camp, drop off the cliff, and then you get to the Ancient Spire Revelwood Fast Travel Point. And from here, this is where we're going to be starting the video. So from this location, we're going to want to glide southeast back across this shroud. We're going to set a waypoint just here. So from the top of the tower, we're going to be heading southeast. So I'm going to jump up here so you can get even more gliding range. And we're literally just going to glide across the shroud canyon below us. Now, this will be level three shroud and you've probably already upgraded your altar to that point. It's pretty easy to do. but We just want to land on this sort of cliff edge above the shroud which you can do on the basic glider, so I wouldn't worry about that. After you land here, you're going to run along the cliff edge and you'll eventually come across this sort of little hunter's cabin here. And from this hunter's cabin, you want to go um, southeast again. And between the trees, you're going to see kind of like this wooden scaffolding there. And if I look on the map, we're just over here, directly southeast from the spire. You can see if you just follow this cliff along and look inwards before you get to this big mountain, it's just over here in the distance. That's the big mountain and that's the cliff behind me. So once you've found this, this is where you can find the first treasure chest. But you're going to want an axe to take out this little flower. Or if not, you can just go ahead and use a bow from behind the tree like this to take it out. They won't actually be able to hit you if you're standing close to the tree. So you can easily just shoot it down essentially until it dies and these things also drop poison sacks which you can loot like that. Now once you get here you're going to stand on the edge and use your grappling hook and then jump jump again and you'll land on this little climbing frame and right in front of you you'll see a grave. Now you can actually use your pickaxe here to smash through it and underneath you'll find a legendary treasure chest which you can open buried in the sand. Go ahead and open that and we're going to get a random level 11 weapon, armor, and all the loot you get from this chest will be level 11. And it can be rare, epic, legendary, or even a piece of armor. It just draws from the same loot table. Everything is level 11 though. So we're going to loot that. And if you want to farm this location, what you're going to do is you're going to run up here, like so, and you're going to mine some rock in the ground here. So just get some stone, not rock. And then you're going to go to the crafting tab, craft yourself a flame altar. And you're going to place this flame altar just so you can see that red line where the grave is. You want to place it just out of range of where the grave is like this. So I'm just going to put this here and then I'm going to return to main menu. And I'm going to press play. I'm going to go back to the private server. I'm going to press. And now you'll spawn back here and you can see that chest has actually respawned. We can just go ahead and mine it. it takes a couple of hits with our pickaxe and now we get the archer's gloves and they are level 13. Now it will drop those level 13 armor sets but the weapons will be level 11. So look press return to main menu again and we spawn up here so let's just run down and press open and we got a level 11 weapon which is rare. There you go. You can also get legendary weapons from here as well. It's always RNG random from the same loot list but that chest will drop all the level 13 armor sets. So now we're going to go to the second farming location and right here at the Revelwood fast travel point you're once again going to fly over the Shroud Canyon come along this cliff edge just here and you can see I'm standing on the cliff edge that's the fast travel point we want to head directly east along this cliff edge and we're basically going to keep traveling along this cliff edge all the way down here past this flame shrine keep on going and eventually you'll come to a Forsworn Frontier, which is a bandit camp location. So just carry on walking along the cliff edge. You really cannot go wrong. As long as you keep that cliff edge on your left, you cannot get lost. And right here we come to the Flame Shrine, just here, which you can loot. 
And then you'll see like this wooden scaffolding. And right in front of you, you'll see the bandit camp just ahead. You just run past the boars. Don't worry about them. You don't even need to kill them. So here we're going to get to the Palisade War of the Four Song Frontier. You can see that's the tower over there. And now we're going to want to run up this hill just here. And right at the top here, we can actually go ahead and mine some rocks. So we're going to get some stone from this. And once you've got six stone, you can go to crafting. You can craft yourself a flame altar. And we're going to place this flame altar just on the ground. So let's just place the flame shrine just over here. And that's going to be our spawn point. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run into this location. I'm going to glide like this. And then I'm going to drop off here. Now, sometimes there's an enemy here. But you can usually lockpick this chest. But usually it's just better to skip it. And instead, you're going to run across this bridge to the left, jump, jump on the side here, and then you can just glide off into this little secret cavern to the left-hand side. That's the first chest, which is going to drop the level 13 um, archer's armor set. It can drop anything, just a bunch of level 13 stuff, really, including weapons. But if you just carry on down this path, you can climb up this area here, and then there's a ladder, and we can just climb all the way to the top of this scaffolding. Now, there's another silver chest just here, and this one's going to drop the city wall block. It always drops 241 of them, which is great for building your base. So you can actually farm the city block wall really easily there. And if you look up, you can use the grappling hook from there instead of climbing the ladder to save yourself from time. And then you can climb up this little scaffolding inside of the tower. And if you come outside again, there's another grappling hook there. Just use that. And this is the golden legendary chest at this location. Undergrove Staff Legendary. So I'm going to go ahead and loot that. And now what we're going to do to reset this farming spot is we're going to return to the main menu. And we're just going to press play again. I'm going to go to private server and then press play. Now, another quick tip. If you want to find the carpenter's saw blade, when you glide into this area, obviously you've got this chest you can lockpick if you like. Got a rusty sword. But just down here, there's a red glow, and here is the Carpenter's Circle Saw Blade. And you can loot multiple copies of it. It does respawn every time. But wow, what the heck is that? Where are you? You're wrecked, buddy. Now, another quick tip. If you actually climb up this fence here, and you have the upgraded grapple, if you double jump, you can just use it from there, which is so much faster to get to the top here. And there we go, the legendary Ghostly Shield. And this shield gives you 10% fire resistance. Now, after you've looted that chest, if you come back outside, you can actually look down and you can see the scavenger matron just there. And you can just go ahead and gun her down from up here. Just avoid hitting her in the head because it's her resistance spot. And you can just take her out. She doesn't even aggro because you're so high up. And then when you're done, you can just drop down and pick it up. And there we go. We've got a legendary scorching wand and some metal scrap for more lockpicks. So each time you come here, you can just go ahead and farm her. Then drop down and loot her before anyone shows up. We got the archer's helmet. So after several runs on this location, we got five legendary items, eight different epic items, and nine different rare items. We also got free common and all of the normal items I actually deconstructed. We also got most of the wizard's armor set, most of the archer's armor set, and some of the warrior's armor set. I did get a bunch of duplicates as well, but I just delete them because I don't need multiple sets. It's also possible to get some shields at this location too. But you can actually grab my armor set from very close to this location using my video guide linked in the description.